Good morning, children. Hello. Today, we're going to be making our very own book. So for this, you need some paper. Now, Miss Fran has got three pieces of A4 white paper, and I'm going to fold it in half to make my book. But you can do it a different way. If you have smaller paper, you can draw the pictures and then you can staple it after if you like. So this is going to be my front cover. On my front cover, I'm gonna have my title and a picture to show the title. My title is going to be The Bear. And I'm gonna draw a picture of my bear. He's gonna have a smiley face. That's my bear, he's gonna have funny hands. Now, Miss Fan's not very good at drawing. You're better than me, so I know you can draw really good pictures. You're gonna try really hard and go slowly, don't rush, okay? Think about what you want to happen in your story. So Miss Fran's story is about a bear. So I need to think about what happens to the bear. Okay, I'm gonna draw a picture of my bear. And the first thing that bear's going to do is he's going to go to visit this. Oh, do you know what this is, children? <gasps> this is a volcano. And that's all the lava coming down the volcano. So, your adult can write your sentence for you. Miss Fran's going to write, Bear went to the volcano. Full stop at the end. I'm going to turn over my page. And I'm going to draw my bear again. This time, bear is going to have lots of sweat coming down his body because it was hot. Do you know why it was hot, children? Because there was lots of molten lava coming out of the volcano and it was making bear very, very hot. So this orange is gonna show the hot molten lava making bear all sweaty. And I'm gonna put some droplets. This is all his sweat. Oh, poor bear, he's very sweaty. Then, next, Bear. Bear went to see his friends. Do you know who's Bear's, who's Bear's friends? One of his friends is Goldilocks. Because in my story, this Bear is really good friends with Goldilocks. In fact, they're best friends. So I'm going to draw Goldilocks here. This is Goldilocks. She's wearing a dress today. Not dungarees. She's got a dress on. So Bear went to see Goldilocks. So Miss Fran is going to write her sentence. Bear went to see Gold E locks. Full stop at the end. So you're going to tell your story to your adult. You're going to draw your pictures first, then you're going to tell your story to your adult. And your adult is going to write the sentence for you. Exactly what you say, your adult's going to write it down, okay? So let me read the story so far so that I can think what should happen next. The bear. Bear went to the volcano. It was 
hot. Bear went to see Goldilocks. Mm. Now, what's going to happen next? You know what's going to happen. Bear and Goldilocks are going to go on a trip. Now, I've got two pages, so I'm going to draw Bear, Bear and Goldilocks across two pages. So, do you know what Bear and Goldilocks decided to do? They decided to get inside their rocket and go to the moon. This is the moon. They're flying to the moon. I'm going to do some orange colour here to show the fire. And I'm going to draw Bear in one window. There's Bear's face in one window. Ooh. And in the other window, I'm going to draw Goldilocks. So Bear and Goldilocks went to the moon. And I'm going to write Bear and Goldilocks went to the moon. I'm going to write it here because I've got space. Okay, let me show you. Bear. And Goldilocks went to the moon. Full stop. And to finish, do you know what they did on the moon, children? It's going to be so nice. On the moon, they had a picnic. And this is the picnic mat. Miss Fran's going to draw some orange juice for Bear, some orange juice for Goldilocks, a chocolate biscuit. They're going to have a chocolate biscuit each on the moon. Yum, yum, my favourite. It's a chocolate digestive. Miss Fran loves chocolate digestive. I think they have to eat 10 fat sausages because on the moon they're also going to sing 10 fat sausages. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I need to draw Bear and Goldilocks on the moon. So let me draw Bear first. There's his legs and his arms. He's got fluffy, fluffy hair. He's smiling because he loves Goldilocks. That's Bear. And here's his best friend, Goldilocks. And she's smiling because she loves the moon and she loves picnics. So it's a great day for Goldilocks and Bear. So Miss Friend's going to write her sentence. They had a picnic. So I'm going to say it and then your adult's going to write it. They had they had a picnic. That's four words. They had a picnic. They, finger space, had a picnic. And at the end of my sentence, I have to put a full stop to show that it's finished. The full stop is the dot. We can go full stop, bang, at the end of our sentence. They had a picnic. And then Miss Brown is going to write the end. And I'm going to use a green pen for this because I like the colour green. The end. So children, you're going to make your very own book. You're going to draw the pictures. This is just like we did when we were at school together with Miss Fran and Miss Am and Miss Bam and Miss Tip. We always made books together. Can you remember that? So you know what to do. You need to draw pictures on your paper first and think about your story and then you're going to tell your adult what your story is about and your adult is going to try and write a sentence or a word to describe your story on each page okay so miss fan's going to read you her story and then it's your turn to make your very own story the bear bear went to the volcano it was hot Bear went to see Goldilocks. 
Bear and Goldilocks went to the moon. They had a picnic. The end. Now, you see Miss Fran has taken her ideas from different stories. I've taken the characters Bear and Goldilocks from Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I've taken the bear from Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And then in um, another story where Bear goes to the moon and they have a picnic, it's with Owl in that story, um, I've copied that idea. So I've done a rocket and I've thought of the idea of them going to the moon, okay? So you can think of your favorite stories and if you want to, you can think of ideas from that story. Okay, now it's your turn to make your book. Thank you so much, children. I hope you have a really good time making your book and drawing your pictures. I can't wait to see it on tapestry. Thank you so much, bye.